So this is a hydrometer analysis. Now what is hydrometer? Uh, this is the hydrometer as you can see. Here this center point is known as the center of the bulb where you get the density of the soil water suspension. And on the stem you can see there are different divisions, different markings. And as you can see that the readings are increasing as you move downward. At the top it is 0.995, then at the bottom it is 1.030. Okay, clear. So, how to determine? Suppose this is a cylinder where the soil is mixed with the dispersing agent and also water. And it is made up to 1000 mm as you can see. Then you drop this hydrometer inside this suspension. And you take the reading for 4 minutes without removing the hydrometer. That is at 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 1 minute, 2 minute and 4 minutes. Then after 4 minutes, you, you remove this hydrometer and put in a jar of clear distilled water. And for subsequent reading, you take it from that jar and you insert here and take the reading. Take the reading means you have to take the reading of the lower meniscus of water. As you can see, there are two meniscus, but, but due to the turbidity, you will be able to see only the lower meniscus where it is matching. And for hydrometer, there are actually three corrections. One is known as the meniscus correction. So what is meniscus correction? That is, you insert this hydrometer in a distilled water and see the difference between the two reading between these two divisions. And it is generally plus 0.5. That is the meniscus correction. Next is the dispersing agent correction. What is dispersing agent correction? you mix some dispersing agent with the soil water so that flocculation can be avoided and if you insert this hydrometer then you can calculate the dispersing agent correction if you insert this in a jar with distilled water plus dispersing agent and you see the difference first you insert this hydrometer in a clean water then hydrometer with dispersing agent and see the difference in the reading and this reading is always negative. And the last one is the temperature correction. What is temperature correction? This hydrometer is calibrated at a particular temperature that is 27 degrees centigrade. And if the test temperature is different from that 27 degrees centigrade, then you have to apply a temperature correction. Now depending on the test temperature or room temperature, your uh, correction will be positive or negative. So these are the three corrections that we have to apply. And in hydrometer analysis, we are basically using this Stokes law to determine the diameter of the particle. And you can see there are different parameters. And I will just explain one thing that is how to determine this HE or the effective height. And you can see this effective height is given by this expressions. So these are the expressions for effective height and this is the hydrometer all the parameters are shown here. So what you have to mainly calculate this H1 small h VH and A. VH is the volume of hydrometer which you can determine after inserting the hydrometer in a water and noting the displacement of the surface of water. Then the area also you can calculate. This small h you can see this depth you can measure that is the volume of this bulb from here to here from here to here you can measure and what is H1. This H1 I, either you can do a calibration of the hydrometer that means on a plain paper you keep this hydrometer in this horizontal position and measuring this different mark from this point. This point to say what is the length of this portion 1.030, 1.025 like that. That length you measure or you can directly use this expression also. This expression also where all these terms are described in this figure. Okay. So in this way you can calculate this HE. And here this is the formula of HE and you can see for calculating this H1 only the meniscus correction is applied with the hydrometer reading. But there is another part that is the percentage finer. So this is the expression of 
percentage finer where this r corrected is the summation of this temperature correction minus gas correction and dispersing agent correction now after getting all these things you prepare this table after getting all these things you prepare this one this table after preparing this table you have to plot a graph graph means again on the x axis there will be particle size and on the y axis there will be percent finer particle size will be on log scale percent finer will be in ordinary scale and we will get a s shaped curve and if you combine that curve with the curve obtained from the sieve uh, uh, analysis then you will get the total particle size distribution of the soil that is percentage of fine silt clay and sand so this is the total hydrometer test for hydrometer test we are taking 50 gram soil sample the soil sample is uh, 75 micron passing soil sample which is written at in in the pan and we are using dispersing agent solution for dispersing agent solution we are using sodium hexametaphosphate 33 gram and sodium carbonate 7 gram and the remaining part is water and make a solution of 1000 ml okay now we shake the sample properly to make a homogeneous solution glass jar and start take the reading from 30 second 1 minute 2 minute 4 minute 8 minute and after 24 hours the test will be close the completed for taking the reading first you wait for stable the hydrometer now you can see the hydrometer is almost stable you can take the reading first reading is 1.001023 now the reading is 1.008 that is you can see the reading 1.005 from here and and you can see that here the water level is below six smallest division from 1.005 one smallest division is 0.0005 so you can calculate from that the first reading is 1.008 for correction first is minuscule correction actually the reading is reading have to taken from the bottom meniscus but for the turbidity of soil sample we take the reading of the upper meniscus so here is a meniscus correction for calculating the meniscus correction we take the hydrometer from soil sample and put it in normal 
water because in normal water we can see both the meniscus okay now you can see that here is two meniscus one is upper and other is lower actually we have to take the reading of lower meniscus but we cannot take this reading because of turbidity of this soil sample okay so we calculate the meniscus from here actually the value of cm is the smallest division of hydrometer that is 0.0005 for cd or dispersing agent um, correction we already prepared a uh, solution of dispersing agent and water we are taking 33 gram sodium um, hexametaphosphate and uh, 7 gram sodium carbonate and uh, the remaining part is water and make a solution of 1000 ml and another is only plain water of 1000 ml now first we take the reading of hydrometer in plain water then we take out the hydrometer and put it into the solution of dispersing agent and take the reading the difference of reading between plain water and dispersing agent solution is the cd value of cd for temperature correction first we take the reading of the solution actually measure the temperature of soil solution now we take out the thermometer and check the reading that is 31 degree centigrade okay here in is code one table is already provided for temperature correction from this table now we can calculate the value of ct